me, Drossemeyer. Help me. Yes, me. Help. Help. They're getting away. Please. Really? Y'all are funny. I'm, I like your sense of humor. This movie, the beginning scene that I showed, that I showed beforehand, um, that was like the beginning of what was wrong with the movie. But today we're going to be doing a review over the Nutcracker, Hip Hop Nutcracker, okay? So first of all, I was not aware that this was a play that they have throughout Broadway and they do on tour. So I forgave them for that because I didn't know, okay? Um... But let's go into a couple of notes I have written. So first off, um, the play on names is pretty dope. Um, the play on names is pretty dope. I like the fact that there was a lot of representation for natural hairstyles there. That I'll show a couple of pictures as well. Um, I could definitely say I like to see black excellence. I like the fact that there was like a variety of everything. However, I have some notes here. So I have my pros and I have my cons. First off, let's do the cons first so we can end on a positive note. First con is too much choreo, okay? Now me, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to dance a little bit here and there. Um, and I can tell you this, I appreciate the technicality, the, a lot of musicality from a lot of the dancers, but like literally, what's her name? Maria Clara, like she's literally getting kidnapped and Drossel Meyer, you saw earlier in the video, like she didn't care. She's like, I must do this eight count that I practiced. Like that took me out. It took me out that there was like so much dancing that they didn't even have time for plot. Okay. So there was a level of, how do I say this? Like the name Maria Clara was also kind of corny, but I guess they couldn't do Clarita because that had been too on the nose, but there was a lot. <laughs> There was a lot, okay? Um, also, as someone who was in band for seven years, the music, I just felt like there wasn't, I felt like there wasn't a, there wasn't, there wasn't that awe-inspiring. Like the music was, the music is like 90% of the play. People go to the play to listen to the music. Like Tchaikovsky was in his bag, was in thy bag, okay? Who knows what year that was, but um, I can definitely say for sure that, uh, <laughs> musically, I was not impressed. Um, I think I heard some original songs and I was just like, this is the main part. I understand it's supposed to be like a fusion of things. Which, like I said, we got to stop fusion. We got to stop the Dragon Ball Z. Like everything doesn't need to be fusioned. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one that I have as a con. Um, the plot pace. So at one point. I didn't know what the thesis statement was. I don't know what the plot was. I don't know. I didn't know what was happening. Like I was at one point, I was thoroughly confused. And I was like, what did another movie come on? What was this? And then like me, I'm a big movie buff. I know like every movie that came out, even movies you never heard of. Um, it was the timing for me because I, I believe it was an hour and a half because I had to keep stopping it because the dancing was taking me out. Like she's over here. She's over here doing a full on dance routine and people are in trouble. Okay. Um, the definitely for sure I have on here, draw some I would rather do an eight count than help people. Um, also I felt like, also I felt like, the storyline didn't make any sense. And then when there was a storyline, like my thing is like, I'm all about pace. Like me, I'm a person that if we're doing a, if we're doing a movie, I want to be able to see the characters actually fall in love. He bought her some dry nuts with no drink and was like, <laughs> let's do this dance routine together. And then he did not listen to any of her steps. She did a full on dance routine with her. He, she did a full on dance routine with him. And then he didn't even, like, he wasn't even listening. Like, she would be like, okay, go like this. And he was like, I was like, fix your neck. <laughs> fix your neck. Like, I was so upset about so many things about that old scene. But the main reason why I like the original play, which that's how I know I couldn't be a screenwriter for this, because of the fact that I'm too close to it, like, I'm too close to the case, is the fact that I don't understand how you're supposed to tell me, like, 
she, he fell in love because she got he got her some nuts. They weren't even good peanuts. They were the dry peanuts that yo. Between that and Popeye's biscuits, I don't know which one's gonna lead you, lead you on to the afterlife. Okay, I don't know which one's gonna take you there faster, but probably those dry peanuts that he gave her. Um. Also, there was no Christmas spirit. Um, excuse me. This is a Christmas movie. The theme was based in New York. It was based on New Year's Eve. And I was like, you're not serious. Be for real. Be for real. Be for real. Also, including with the dancing, with the fact that they have divorce problems. They like these like divorce problems aren't just like, you know what? Because we did this, we're all in this. No, you're not. Like maybe he cheated. Maybe she's too busy for with work. Maybe he's too busy with work. Like you don't just get a divorce. Like people don't get a get a divorce on a whim unless they're celebrities. But people don't just get a divorce on a whim. Most of the time when there's divorce, it's because there's been. Most of the time when they get a divorce, it's because of overtime issues, like little issues that they ignored that just grew to big issues. Like you can't dance it away. Like there was a lot of that going on in the movie. It was just like. I'm trying to realize that this is like a dance place to so not take it seriously, but I was still upset because you know, like Nutcracker Suite is just so close to my heart. When I finally mastered it on piano, my heart. Um, all right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go into the positives. The Jabberwockies. All right, y'all can end this video now. <laughs> But honestly, the Jabberwockies and the Spirit of Snow, which the Spirit of Snow, I was, I'm assuming he's somebody important because. I'm I'm like he looks so familiar. I feel like he's like I feel like he's like an original ballet instructor. Something's telling me that I'll have to go look and research when I'm editing, but something's giving me he's very important. So I'm not gonna follow him for that. But like the spirit of snow, like when that happened, I was like, thank God, Jabberwockies came. I I really wanted to check. I wanted to see. I wanted to check the chiropractor to check their back for carrying the entire movie on their back. I was like that scene that they they had and they only danced for about. 16 bars which tells me that's all they could afford so you know it is what it is um a positive was rev run it was so nice to see rev run rapping again he's like what he's an og like it was so nice to see him and he was so happy about narrating but baby like it was just so confusing because even in even with him narrating i was like oh yeah yeah rev run okay okay also confusion i don't know how this moved the plot a lot i don't know why um I can't sit there and tell you why he was needed, but it's Rev Run, so I appreciated him being there. I know I'm assuming he's probably like been in the original one. So like I said, I'm coming in this with blind, it's a blind taste test. I don't know anything about the hip hop nutcracker. I did some research afterwards, but I was like, oh, this is actually a dope play. But my thing is that it's just, I was just so disappointed with the fusion. Um, positivity, we're gonna do the Afro-Latina, the Afro-Latina representation, I like that. Um, I like the fact that they had somebody come in as new talent. Because like I said, let's see somebody new. Because I'm just irritated with, you know, people just coming in with the same people over and over again. Different generations. And um, I'm just tired of seeing that. I was It was nice to see something new. Like, let's, let's see something new. Because it's like the same people over and over again. I'm just like, okay, what now? Okay, what now? Like, it was, it was nice to see some fresh faces. Um... The Nutcracker, the one who played the Nutcracker is very handsome. I wrote that down. Um, it was, now, mind you, this this part, I can definitely say I'm going to do the choreo breakdown. My top choreo moments was, um, number coming in at number four was the, uh, when the Ma Mary Clara, sorry, Mary Clara and Nutcracker, their duo dance was pretty awesome. I think they did a good, there was a lot of lifts involved. I like that part. Um, coming in next was the rats doll scene. Like that was pretty lit. I was just like, I, I almost turned it off. I almost turned it off. And I was like the rats doll scene, the rats came in scene and like the main person um, who was dancing in that, like he carried the whole team on his back. Like he was, he did that. Um, that was really nice. Um, the Marinette doll ate up. She ate. Between her, I'll do honorable mention was the ballerina doll, which I liked her as well. She great talent. Um, definitely on point. <laughs> okay. Don't delete me. But the, the isolation from the Marion doll, she said, she said, I don't got money for lunch. She was killing it. I was just like, she really, she really did not come to play with y'all. Okay. Um, number one was Jack Walkie's Spirit of Snow. They ate. 
as per usual as they've been doing for the last decade um i definitely got vibes that it was just giving me like that same like the overall play i give it the overall play the overall movie i give it a three out of five um i can definitely say i felt like it was like a so you think you can dance reunion and i was obsessed with that show obsessed you have no audition no, no audition yes i wanted to audition but i was too young but like the uh the obsession i have with so you think you can dance you have no idea so it was nice to like kind of see that um i think i think what my overall thing is i think it was just an audience mismatch um the the whole play it's giving cheese like it's giving you know i know i'm lactose intolerant i cannot tolerate cheesy movies um it was definitely giving cheese like some of the plot points were just awkward and then like there was a lot of reading um of course Drossel Meyer like she like I, I love the actress who did it but like the, her old thing like something about the fact that my friend got into my friend's car crash and I'm like doing my Claire I'm I'm in the accident no what did you need like what is going on absolutely not um I also felt like <laughs> Um, I also felt like it was just, it was for kids, but I just don't see kids staying for that long because I think what was missing was where was the magic? Like I didn't feel the magic. I didn't feel any type of magic from the movie. Like I was like the main reason why I love, um, the amazing why I'm obsessed with the live play, the Barbie version, every version, except this version. Um, the reason I'm obsessed with that is like, it's the magic, the bright colors. Like, I don't think it would have been able to hold the attention of these kids for very long like it was just like it was made for kids because like the plots the plot devices make no sense like if the rats live in the dumpster just throw the dumpster out <laughs> anyways but like it was just like it didn't make any sense but for kids they would have think it was cute or whatever but my thing is it's like i just don't see them holding their attention because there wasn't a lot of bright lights it was very dark once again all these movies i'm just like i need to turn the brightness up all right, you see, I'm getting, the, I'm sorry, I'm almost this close to getting the perfect lightning formula. I got the lamp on and I got two of them in front of my face. I'm this close to getting the light lamp correctly. But my thing is the fact that there was just no, it was just so dark. I don't see kids staying. Um, there are certain parts that were kind of a little bit scary. I can, I don't see kids staying because the thing about it, it's, it's made for kids. I don't see anybody who can buy their own alcoholic beverage watching this movie willingly unless it was for torture like i didn't really feel like it was <laughs> i didn't feel like it was entertaining enough for an adult i say it on because i love jabberwockies and i love the pieces of the waltz the flowers you know sugar plum fairy um i love the nutcracker so i was like okay let me watch you know look at him um let me watch it's gonna be important for next week by the way but it's just like i just really felt like there was just like I don't know I don't know I didn't I didn't feel like there was like a sparkle to it honestly they could have kept that and they could have gave us an original Christmas movie involving dance because I've seen plays where like there is just quiet it's literally just like this mime acting you know like old school where it's just, like you read something across the screen and da 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 but it was give it wasn't giving what I wanted it to to give I didn't really feel like it's a movie I'm gonna watch again I'm probably gonna be a throwaway movie and that's not to you know it's not to like throw away because I'm pretty sure people who saw the plays, the movie is just like their dream come true. But it's my nightmare. I didn't like it. Um, I felt like what was missing was pace. Like I don't even think it was I don't even think it was two hours, but I felt like it was longer because there was a lot of dance scenes. I felt like a lot of solos went long, which is fine. I love new talent being able to see who being able to be seen, but there was a lot of times where I was just like, how is this conducive to the plot? Um, number two there wasn't enough Christmas spirit. It was literally paced for, it was literally paced for New Year's Eve. Like they ran out of plot to where like they went back to the 80s. Like, okay, we gotta do something to fill the runtime. I was like, no, you don't. Build the chemistry. Like you just made the Nutcracker appear. I was just, I don't even know his name yet. Who is he? Who are you? Like, I'm just like, I don't even know this person yet. And you're just like, they're together now. And then they figured it out and now it's time. I was like, he saved her one time and now we're together? Absolutely not. Um, but honestly i would say overall it's three out of five i definitely recommend seeing it because like i said like i love seeing black excellence i love seeing different takes on the nutcracker you it's like a story that will never die but i just felt like it was just a mismatch it was like the plot was for children 
but the visuals were for adults, okay? And something about the fact that even the cover photo is not really the main characters, it's the parents. I'm just like, it's the Clara show, okay? Like, I was like, it's not like the Nutcracker Suite has always been the Clara show, but definitely for sure, um, this hairstyle tutorial will be out on Wednesday. So definitely stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, share. It's Claire here.